I'm a little Muslim, good and smart. Here are my books and here is my scarf. When you hear the prophet stories, hear me shout. Excuse me, I have a question. Learning together is the best part. Come on, everyone. Let's listen and learn from the prophet stories. That's right. And today, we will tell you the story of Hazrat Ibrahim a.s. Or in English, Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. Episode 3, The Father of the Prophets. Hazrat Ibrahim a.s. lived about 950 years after Prophet Noah, peace be upon him. He lived in the town of Ur, which was located in Iraq. The message of Hazrat Nu, peace be upon him, had been forgotten, and people had started to worship idols again. They also started worshipping the sun and the stars. This disturbed Hazrat Ibrahim, peace be upon him. How could people make statues with their own hands and then expect them to help? Hazrat Ibrahim salam's uncle did not like that he talked against the idols. But he knew what a noble and trustworthy person Hazrat Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was. So he gave him his daughter's hand in marriage. Her name was Hazrat Sara. Once Allah appointed Hazrat Ibrahim, peace be upon him, as his prophet, he told him to talk openly about the ills of idol worship. One day, when his people went out of the city, Hazrat Ibrahim, peace be upon him, broke all the idols which belonged to his family, except for the biggest one. Then he hung his axe on the shoulder of the biggest idol. When the people came back, they saw the scene at the temple, and they were furious. Excuse me, I have a question. Why didn't he break the biggest idol too? Why did he leave it behind? Well, he wanted to prove his point. When people asked him who had broken all the idols, Hazrat Ibrahim salam said that since a god is supposed to know all things, they should ask their biggest idol. He tried to make his people understand that idol worship did not make sense. How can idols help the people when the idols couldn't help themselves? But the people ignored his message and started to make life difficult for Hazrat Ibrahim salam. So, he decided to migrate from this area. Hazrat Ibrahim salam, was 75 years old at this time. So, he, along with his wife Hazrat Sada, his nephew Hazrat Lut salam, and some followers left the town. During their migration, they traveled through Egypt. The king of Egypt became very impressed with Hazrat Ibrahim salam, and offered the service of a royal lady by the name of Hazrat Hadra. Since Hazrat Ibrahim and Hazrat Sara did not have any children at this time, Hazrat Hajra and Hazrat Ibrahim salam, got married. All of them prayed to have righteous children in their family. And when he was a very old man, Hazrat Ibrahim salam, and Hazrat Hajra had a son named Ismail. And many years later, Hazrat Ibrahim and Hazrat Sara had a son named Ishaq. Both of Hazrat Ibrahim salam's sons became prophets. The descendants of Hazrat Ismail salam, are called Ismailites, and the descendants of Hazrat Ishaq salam, are called Israelites. Hazrat Ibrahim, peace be upon him, has been titled Abul Ambiya, meaning father of the prophets. This is because many great prophets were born into his family, generation after generation. Actually, I also have a question. Was Hazrat Ibrahim salam, a law-bearing prophet? Yes, Hazrat Ibrahim salam, was a law-bearing prophet and the scriptures given to him are known as Mus'haf. They included the unity of God, 
belief in life after death, and performing the pilgrimage to the Kaaba. Although this is the end of the episode, the story of Hazrat Ibrahim, peace be upon him, continues. Be sure to watch the next few episodes to understand the bigger picture. Join us next time for the story of Hazrat Lut Salam. Until then, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu. Please subscribe for more episodes.